Have you ever played a rail fanning game? If so, you probably enjoyed it. There's a lot of rail fanning games to choose, some of them are old, some of them are new. But then, you're wondering, how can I make a rail fanning game in Roblox? Well, I'm here to guide you on how to make it. There are some requirements though, as we progress on. Such as the plugins, being good at scripting and more. And that's the case, let's get right into it. First, open Roblox Studio, then select Classic or the newest baseplate, in this case, I'll prefer the new one. Now, I'll recommend that you should publish the place first, click on File, click Publish to Roblox. Now, just leave the settings for now, we'll come back to it later. Now, just think of a location that you want to make, for this tutorial, I'll choose Evercane Road on Clewiston, Florida. Now, this may be crazy, but in this step, you need to take pictures of satellite images. It's maybe a little risky to do this. So, in order to do that, go to a program when you can view the images, I'll recommend Zoom Earth, it's a website that can view satellite images, the link for that is in the description. Find it where you want to take it, if you can't find it, go to the top right and search the location, until you can find it. Now, click on the start icon and search snipping tool or snip and sketch, then select the highlighted area you want to snip. Now save the image onto your computer. Now upload the image to Roblox, just go to Create tab, click on Decals, then upload the file to Roblox. I would give you advice to make your images more sharpen. If you don't know how to do it, click on the second link in the description to watch a tutorial on it. Anyways, now after you've uploaded your images to Roblox, make a part and put the image into there. Here comes the part where you need to take time on this. Let's get a road pack or a train track pack, go to the third or fourth link in the description, and buy that model. Now insert it to studio and if you chose the road, remove the grass wedge parts. Move the thing onto the satellite part and make sure the thing is in the exact position of the satellite. This will take a while, but you'll eventually make it. Pause the video here if you want to take more time. Now that we've done that, Use the previous steps and add another satellite image and move the parts to where it look the same. This process will take a bit but eventually, you'll be okay. Make sure you have every satellite image that is possible to build otherwise it'll be difficult without it. Now that you've moved the satellite images, now start placing the roads or the tracks. This will be the start of the map making phase. Now go to the game settings, 
and rename it to the title on screen. We're almost finished with part 1, but we need to do two things first, they are required for the next part. Number 1, you need to install Archimedes, it helps you making parts that are in a number of degrees, the link for that plugin is in the description. Number 2, install another plugin called Gap Fill and Extrude, it's basically a plugin that helps filling gaps for you if you're struggling with something. That is the end of part 1, I know it is kind of short but you are steps away from finishing your rail fanning game. I hope you guys learned from this video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Part 2 will release very soon. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'll try my best to finish it as soon as possible. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, peace out. Right.